Hello everybody, Blade55555 here, and today I'm presenting to you a video on using horsemen and camel archers as Abbasid uh, in general. This is uh, this game in particular is going to be me versus this guy, and he's English. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any other replays I could go over when I was going to do this video, so we're just going to go over this one. Uh, there's a style... A new style going on at the high level, top level play, whatever you want to call it, um, where Abbasid players are, are opening horsemen, camel archers, and then transitioning into usually a faster castle and then going from there depending how the game goes. Uh, there's two variations. One where you do one scout, get wheelbarrow, or two scouts and get wheelbarrow. Uh, the one scout wheelbarrow version, you get wheelbarrow, you should start this upgrade at 330. With two scouts, it's about 345. Uh, the way this you open up is you put your first initial villagers on food, you rally one, you make your scout, at least the version I do, and then you add a seventh villager to food. I'm rallying this here to make the house and then a gold mining camp. And what you're gonna end up doing with this is adding three villagers, make your house of wisdom and send it to gold. So then in total, you'll have seven food, four gold. Um, and then you'll notice you won't have enough wood to make a mining or a lumber camp. That's part of the build. Once you have four villagers on gold, you will rally villagers to wood. Uh, your the wood the straggler trees near your near your town center. And then we'll go over that once we get there. So the point of the build and why it's actually really strong right now is camel archers uh, destroy spearmen. So when you open up horsemen and your opponent opens up spears to counter that. Uh, a camel archer, three shots a spear. So if you have three camel archers, that's one shotting a spear. I believe with a blacksmith upgrades, um, a spear can take four shots, but then you can counteract that with getting the plus one attack. Um, I haven't tested that, so I can't say that for sure, but I do remember someone saying that. And uh, so you can be aggressive with it, or you can be defensive, depending on what you're playing against. Versus English, most likely you're going to be defensive. Um, and timing your attacks and when you engage is very important. Uh, if your opponent gets, if you let your opponent mass a lot of longbows and a lot of spears, uh, the composition does get uh, weaker the bigger the mass your opponent makes, in my experience. So usually you want to try to force an engagement before they get, say, 30 longbows and 20 spears. Uh, because I, 30 longbows will one-shot your camel archers, which is what they'll be focusing on, and then your horsemen will melt to spears. But to be fair, if your opponent is getting that big of a mass, you should be cast late. You're almost there at that point. Um, so as you can see in this game in particular, we have our fourth on gold. We made our house of wisdom, which then went on that gold, and now we're getting the straggler trees. Uh, once we advance, which you should be able to advance by about 245, 250, you're going to take two off of food move them to the straggler trees, and you're just going to keep rallying there. All the sheep are going to go under the town center. Um, and the reason why we're gathering the berries first is to get as much food out of these as possible, especially against English, because as you see, we have a forward berries, so that, worst case scenario, we go back to these sheep and we're not uh, out of food. Because as you can see from my map generation, this is our only source of food, and it's all forward. So if we lose this pot spot and we didn't have sheep, uh, we have no food, and we just kind of lose the game. So things to always think about. Um, in this game, I don't do this, but you can also make a tower in specifics versus English. Uh, right here would have been a, probably a smart thing. I don't do that this game, but it would have been probably a smart move to do. Um, and so then right now, we're just kind of scouting, gathering as much sheep as we can, because the more sheep we have, the bigger our safety net. And then from here, what you're normally going to do is, uh, well, once we advance, we'll go over it. Um, you're going to keep these four on gold. And as you see, we started wheelbarrow. Should have been at about 245. And then you're going to keep these on gold until you have enough for this fresh, fresh foodstuffs. In total, you're going to need, I think it's 275 gold in total. Um, once you get that, you'll take it off here. As you'll see, we have enough. We take them and put them on food. We start our fresh food stuffs, and we're still going to rally to wood um, because we need to get stables and an archery range. Uh, versus English, or actually in, in most matchups, you're going to start out with two stables and then add the archery range. 
Um, and you're going to be focusing a lot more on food. You typically only want, at the beginning, it's okay to have like 10 on wood. You don't want to have much more than that. Once you get your production buildings down, you can shift a few off to food. You're still going to want about eight, seven to eight villagers on wood though, because you do need 90 wood to make a camel archer. And then obviously you need the 24 horsemen. Um... And then in this game, we kind of scouted along, saw this. We're assuming longbow spearman aggression, which is a very common, uh, you know, build order uh, from English. We see the two longbows here, and he has two scouts as well. We do make a, sl uh, a mistake here, is, and this is something that you don't want to do, is I'm actually going to send this horseman and go straight for those longbows. And what I was thinking in this situation is I thought, okay, this horseman will kill these two longbows and then uh, I just significantly slow down his push. Uh, this doesn't go as planned as you're about to find out. And uh, this is why you don't do this because I end up losing this horseman because now he has five longbows. And even though he's not fighting with three, by the time we kill the one longbow, uh, yeah, we're going to lose this. A good trade for him. As an English player, you're like, yes, got the first horseman. Awesome. Uh, I should have waited to build my mass first. And this does end up snowballing a tiny bit in this game, but this also will just go to show how powerful the horseman camel archer composition is. Um, and as you see, we have two stables. Uh, we have to, again, we're getting pressured right here, right? So we can't really take this food. Imagine not having as many sheep. We could be really, really screwed right now. Or if we'd been gathering sheep first, we could be in a lot of trouble. So we're going to push him back with two horsemen here. And then he's going to have spears to rally back. That'll push this back. Um, as you'll see in a moment. Because here we go. Here's the spear. Have to retreat. One spear is more than enough to scare away two horsemen. And he actually has three spears. Plus longbows. And we've got four horsemen. And so we're trying our best to kind of not die or not have to pull these villagers back. This tower, as you can see, is very, very late. This should have been done immediately. Um, this, I make this tower earlier. I get to keep the berries and we push them back. But this is still good to showcase, again, just how strong this composition can be once you get a good enough mass. So we move on to sheep. We still have 10 on wood. Because, uh, well, with berries in this, we didn't need to, we needed a little bit more wood. Um, now, obviously, we need more food since we, lo we lost our berries and don't have another one we can go to. So things are looking dire, right? We've lost our fresh or we lost our berries. We're losing our gold. Um, and we only have four horsemen and a camel archer. Now, you have to remember, as uh, English, if you ever played English and done this composition, is it's hard to afford a good amount of longbows and spearmen early in the game. So I'm, I'm being patient here. I'm waiting for three camel archers because as I said early in the video, three camel archers, one shot's a spear. You get rid of the spears, the horsemen will absolutely destroy these longbows and then you just kind of, you will snowball from there because that's kind of what English is doing in this game. He loses his army. It's going to be very hard for him to pressure. And so we're being very patient here. Um, which it can be hard sometimes, you know, you're worried. You don't want the longbow mass to get too big because if it gets too big, then you're just going to, your whole army is going to melt in general uh, when they have proper spearman support. So we're just being very patient. Once this third camel archer moves out, we're going to have three camel archers and almost nine cavalry uh, horsemen and we'll move out. And as you can see already, we're at three sheep. So imagine if we'd been gathering sheep from the beginning, we would be out of sheep right now. I mean, we do have a couple dead carcasses, but we'd be out of sheep right now and we'd have no food. So that's another reason why to take berries first. So we're moving out. While moving out, we're getting uh, an outpost. And as you can see, he has this many, you know, he has enough spears to deal with horsemen. But watch these camel archers just do work. They're one-shotting them. Now he only has three spears left and he had about nine. We still have eight horsemen. So even with three spears, I believe we could have taken this fight. He does kill all the camel archers, but he lost most of his spearmen, which was the whole point. From here, we can clean up his army. Uh, and once we clean this out, we're pretty home free now, right? You hold this, you kill this first ball. It takes a while for longbows to get remassed. It takes a while for spears to get remassed. Um, we're typically going to have a better economy because our villagers are 25 food. And we're just going to push him back. 
And now from here, once you hold this first aggression, uh, what you typically want to do is you do want to harass. You don't want to overcommit though, because if you lose your army, that's a bad, uh, you know, obviously very, very bad. Um, but at this point, we can kind of start slowing down on production. We don't, we still make a few more, um, but you can start gathering gold because we're so far away from castle gold wise and food wise. If we were to just focus on food and not make units, we could get there pretty quickly. So as you see, we're putting seven on gold because we want to start preparing for our castle transition. Because uh, if we if we stay in feudal for a long feudal game, this favors English. English loves that, um, especially in this matchup, because the longbow spearman composition does get super powerful in feudal the bigger the mass is. And we're still making units um, because we see he's still planning on being aggressive. There's no point in taking it lightly. Like This is a very small army at this point. This isn't going to do much, right? Seven longbows, two spears versus eight horsemen and two camel archers. And look at how much these camel archers tank. They have 175 HP. He's done two volleys with eight longbows, and it still has a quarter of its health left. So they're also very tanky, um, but they're also expensive. And then so we clean this up. We're starting to get closer and closer to the castle age as we gather that gold. We're at 600 food. You'll notice we've kind of idled our production buildings. My plan here was to just harass. I didn't know if I wasn't planning on killing him, but as you can see by the timer, the game does end soon. We're at 900 food and he has very little units. Uh, he just engages with everything. With the camel archers, we're focusing down these spearmen. You need to kill these spearmen. Uh, because that, then the horsemen can just do their work. Uh, and as you can see, we're getting closer to castle. Well, what I was going to do is just go to castle, go to men-at-arms, and then we'd be able to kill him with that because he's not going to be going castle anytime soon. He's got a decent amount of gold gathered, but he's lost his army a lot. He's lost a lot of villagers, and then that's a uh, game from there. Uh, this was just one showcasing of the build that I wanted to go over. Uh, in the com, uh, not the comments, in the about us about video section, I do have a VOD link to my Twitch of a game between me and Soldier, um, Abbasid versus HRE, and I showed uh, this same build except I'm aggressive, and it also goes into a castle transition um, and all that stuff. So uh, I would recommend watching that if you want to see how I'm aggressive with this against civs like HRE. Unfortunately, I couldn't go over that replay because it's disappeared from the list. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.